Hey, Dr. Soumya, today I have the honor of introducing to all of you on the Damsili YouTube channel a very high achiever in INICT November 2024. We have with us Dr. Soumya. He has rank two, great rank, single digit rank, top five rank. Awesome. Heartiest congratulations, bache. Kaisa lag raha hai? Thank you, sir. So I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw the rank today on my laptop. I was rechecking so many times that whether I'm seeing it correctly. Um, I was at a I, I was at a shock that I, I could perform this well. I, I never imagined. Even after giving the exam, when I came out of the exam hall, I was uh, very nervous and devastated that because since, since I noticed that I have made some three to four silly mistakes, and I thought that my rank would not be so much better. And but when 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 I today saw all this thing, all the results, and I was surprised. And how many questions did you attempt? I attempted 190 questions. 190. And uh, you know, any idea on how many you would have gotten correct? And, uh, around 160, 160, 165, 165. I think uh, I've got correct. Yeah. Any observation about the difficulty level of the paper, or any analysis of the paper that you want to share? No, I, I my perspective, the I have given the May I I set and the November I I set. Compared to the May and I said, the exam I felt was a bit easier, and the, there were more one-liners, um, and more weightage was given on the first and second year subjects, and the short short subjects like radio and, and dharma and psychiatry was much less, and the time was also some sort of sufficient compared to the May and I said in this November and I said. So, as compared to the NEET PG or the May exam, it was slightly on the easier side, but not really easy, like moderate kind. Short subjects were less, and yes. uh, you know some tricky questions as usual in INICT. Any particular question or topic you felt was really tough or really any subject you thought ke was zada pucha hai, bahut kam pucha hai, kuch aisa? Short subject to kam hai. Koi subject zada bhi hai? I think anatomy was a bit difficult. In the paper, embryology kafi hai. Embryology kafi. Embryology kafi hai. Yes. Okay. So, but now I want to know about your, you know, study style and your. How did you approach your grand test? How did you approach your studies? What was your pa pattern of study during your MBBS? I actually started early for the for preparing preparing in these PG exams from my third year in MBBS itself, okay. and I tried to co complete the entire all 19 subjects. Before internship only, so that I could practice and keep GTS during the internship period, and so that my preparation will be strong enough to appear for the exam in after my internship only. So, if I put it correctly, your idea was that you know you will use the first two years, third and fourth year, mainly for your concept building, and internship mainly for your MCQ and tests. Yes, yes, yes sir. Do you think that is the kind of approach that other students should also emulate and learn from you who want to be in your position in the subsequent years? Yes, definitely. Because I always watched all the, I mean to say not revision videos, only the main videos. I always mm -hmm. watched them. So I would definitely suggest to them that yes, you have to start preparing early so that your concepts are well built from the beginning itself. And so that by the time you complete all the subjects, you get enough time for practicing and giving the GTS, and then again supervising on your week areas and all those things. And what was your approach uh, when you were giving the grand tests? What was your approach when the GTS? Initially, when, when I was giving the GT in my mid internship, my rank was somewhat decent. Okay. Then after when many more subscribers and many more competitive students started giving the GTS, my rank went down a bit, and then I realized that I have to. Start more rigorous preparation. I have to be in another revision cycle. I have to do another revision cycle to get myself better. So I started more rigorous preparation, and after that, my GT scores again started improving. Okay. So I think multiple revision, multiple cycles of revision help you to boost your GT scores. Yes, sir. And what is your approach? You know. If, did you feel any low during your journey? Ke I will not be able to do, or any low point, or any point where you were like little frustrated? Any point like that? Yes, definitely. There are many, many low points, and I thought that what will happen? I, I, I'm preparing so much at the exam day. How will the exam go? And whether I will make more and more silly mistakes? 
and I was definitely very nervous. And indeed, I made some silly mistakes, but then I realized that it was made by others also. It was due to the exam stress, which is on everybody, not only on me. I realized that later on. So I actually prepared for the exam for the exam day, stress coping up when the entire 19 subjects has to be called in a very short time. All those things I actually kept in mind, apart from studying and completing the syllabus also. And were you happy with the kind of questions that Rams puts in the test papers and the kind of discussions that we have after the test papers? Were you happy with them? Yes, definitely. I always like your, your explanation, especially the poems. Of the any explanations I left for all, I revised them also. And they help a lot. They help cover a lot of topics which could probably come in the main exam. And they are, I think, they are mainly based on based on the PYTs. And PYTs are very important in I I said. Were you any particular teachers that come to your mind when you you know now think about uh, you know you've done so well. Now when you look back, any particular teachers or any particular teachers where you saw the video discussions and you were very happy with their discussions. Yes, I'm. My favorite teacher in names was um, Deepthi Ma'am. I actually watched her, her videos mainly. Okay. I'll definitely call her also to say a quick congratulations to you. Okay, sir. And also, I want to know from you that, like, any non-medical hobby that you had during this journey, which kept you motivated or which kept you on track to keep the mental balance. Actually, I got very less time, but I am my major hobby is playing chess. So whenever okay. I got some time in between, I used to relax by playing chess online. And there is very little time when you have to do internship and prepare for an exam like this. I think today we have met many toppers who are all chess players. I'm sure you know you're playing chess with the examiner also. <laughs> so before we look at more questions, I will invite your favorite teacher on the stage to you know take it further. I invite Dr. Deepthi. Hi, Sonia Vidya. Heartiest congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. Very, very well done, Sonia Vidya. And this is like an amazing, amazing rank. Or uh, I would definitely want to know from you. Ki, can you tell us that although yes, the first and the second year subjects definitely have are important for you know I and I said, but what about the clinicals, especially when we talk about medicine, surgery, ops and gyne? So actually, I completed started reading them in the late third year, so that I could complete all the clinical subjects by um, um, right. before the final MB, final prof exam. Yes. Great. And uh, do you think that these subjects are still, you know, out of the clinicals, they are still being asked in quite a lot of number and in good depth? Yes, definitely. They are, they are very important. Right. And also, you know, Samiditya, I would want to know from you, what was your revision plan? How did you focus in, let's say, last seven days or last 10 days before the exam? Last, last um, two weeks before the exam, I actually... Um, revised all the PYQs okay. and the possible PYQs that could come. Okay. So you focused on those in the last two weeks? Yes. All right. And also, can you tell me, Bacha, that how do you analyze when you do certain mistakes? Hearty, mm. congratulations, ma'am. I think your mama was here. Yes, ma'am. Actually, she's a bit busy now. Okay. Can we call her? Maybe we can wish her as well, you know. We, yes, we would love to congratulate her. Okay. My dad. Yes, yes. Heartiest no. congratulations, congratulations, sir and ma'am. Namaskar. Uh, namaskar, sir. Bohat, bohat, bohat congratulations. Sonia has done exceedingly well, and I'm sure that you are really happy. And uh, it yeah. must be like a celebration at home. Yeah, so, there is celebration at home, obviously. I'm just, uh, we are overwhelmed, actually. I'm sure, yes, yes. I can see that even yes. Somya looks so, you know, Somya, now is the time that you need to relax. You've, you, you've <laughs> achieved a great, great thing. 
and i can see the parents they they still seem overwhelmed as they said you know ma'am and sir why don't you tell us something about somya kitni achhi se padhai karta hai i'm sure but anything else that kuch, you want kuch to kuch secret baat batao iski padhai ke bare mein somya ji to apart from studies he is very good at chess uh, from the other tender age of 9 when he was 9 i put him onto chess because chess improves your uh, ra- rapidness your yes, intelligence yes. your iq your logical thinking so chess does all that your competitiveness yes uh, so he was good at chess up to class 9 10 he was studying at chess not studying that much is uh, <laughs> studies uh, educational studies and he has got a rating of more than 70 and a low rating in at chess okay so after that from 11 he was not able to continue chess he went on to akash and all then that is it he was obedient he was sincere from his childhood i'm sure, sure. he's a wonderful boy and i'm sure he's he's very disciplined and he's he knows his priorities very well let's hear something from the mama as well ियर Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Definitely, they have, they gave me the strongest support all time during my exam preparation, and yes. they they are my definitely my pillars of life. Wonderful! It's 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 so nice to see you all together, and uh, you know, thank you, Somya, for making dance a part of your journey. Thank you. It's a very bright future ahead, Bika. Jahan pe bhi jaoge, I am sure that you are going to excel, and you are going to keep making your parents smile and making them proud. Thank, thank you so much for your, He needs for your, your blessings. For your blessings Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, so very well done, Somya. Once again, we are really super proud of you. And this is a beginning of a new, new journey, which is going to be great. So all the best, Bacha. Keep smiling and stay healthy. Heartiest congratulations. Thank you, thank you, Ramansh. Thank, thank you. Thank you for making the dance a part of your journey. I wish you all the best. Keep rocking. Keep reminding yourself. Apna time upon khud laiga. Stay connected to us, Samia. Thank you.